one is going to be fought at super lightweight, 135 pounds. And this will be Adrian Sabado versus Matthew Rashoni. This one is going to be fought at super lightweight, 135 pounds. Come out is Matthew Rashoni. One who I'm quite familiar with, who I uh, did many kickboxing classes with some time ago. He's got a YouTube channel that he just started as well. Got a lot of great MMA techniques, so I highly recommend checking it out. And now here's Rushoni's opponent, Adrian Sabado. <laughs> Clearly looking to create a bit of an atmosphere here for his walkout. And as you can see, the arena is a little over half full now. This is the second fight of 15 for the night. This one is three rounds of kickboxing with 135 pounds. The referee, Mr. Greg Turnbull. Now introducing your fighters. Battling out of the blue corner. Please welcome Adrian Sabato. His opponent, across the ring, fighting out of revolution, martial arts and fitness, let's hear from Matthew Rosconi. Rosconi. Both men set for action here. And we're off. Quick touch of the gloves before we get going. Quick reg. A lot of kicks coming from Sabado here. He's pushing Rusconi into the corner. Getting some good front kicks off. Keeping, keeping Rusconi in that corner. And making sure that he fights at his distance. Sabado's still trying to establish those kicks. Rusconi with a few counters as well. But Sabado... Uh, Looking to be a little bit more effective so far. Oh, and there's a good combination to counter by Sabado. That looks like it stunned Rusconi a little bit. Now he goes for... <laughs> Referee laying down the law. You're only allowed to do one knee in the clinch before you have to break it up. Oh, there's a good jab by Rusconi. And another counter. It's a flurry going on right now. Sabado appears to be landing a little harder. But he is getting warned here a couple of times, as the rules on this are quite strict. Rusconi got bad hook from Sabado. Rusconi tried to counter, but couldn't get a good one off. Another body kick finished by Sabado. Dodged that one, another leg kick. Sabado looking like the one controlling the ring right now. Establishing those kicks and pushing Rusconi back to the ropes. Another great combination by Sabado. It's a game of volume. And he's dictating the pace really well here. Oh, and there was a good kick by Rusconi. That might have stunned Sabado, but you wouldn't know it from the counter that he's coming back with. And that'll be the bell for the end of the first round. Sabado really establishing those kicks early on. Didn't look like there was any slowdown from him. Rusconi with a few good counters, but Sabado ultimately getting the vast majority of the strikes off in that first round. Round two underway here. A couple of exchanges of kicks, not much landing there. Good hard ones by Adrian Sabado and a counter very quickly by Rusconi. Rusconi often opting to lead with those kicks. And looks like he Sabado nicked the cup a little bit. And we're gonna give Rusconi a clock to uh, 
work out what was ultimately an accidental low blow. You often see fighters not usually using most of that five minutes. Just very keen to get right back in there. We'll see how much of this time Rusconi takes. As even though these guys are wearing cuffs, those low blows, they hurt. And as expected, Rusconi uh, not taking very long to get right back to the action. Sabato with a good body kick there. But Rusconi. And now here's Sabato really coming with a flurry. Looked like the ref was about to get in there, but Sabato did restrict himself to one knee in that clinch. Sabato going hard with the hooks. And he throws a knee. Both fighters really trying to establish dominance with those kicks. Hard roundhouse kick by Sabado. Looked like Rusconi might have blocked it a little bit. Another hard roundhouse kick. And a couple of knees exchanged before breaking up. Rusconi with the roundhouse kick. That was blocked by Sabado. And another one. Sabado finishing most of these combinations with kicks. Really making Rusconi guess here. He's got a big red spot on the left side of his body. And Sabado has been landing that kick all fight. We got a last flurry here before the end of the second round. Sabado getting the knee in. And that'll be time. That round, I'd say, probably a little bit more even than round one. A little bit hard to tell who had the edge there, but you can't help but notice those roundhouse kicks of Sabado. Every combination he's throwing off, he ends with at least a roundhouse kick or a low kick, and they really make an impact. Set to go with the final two minutes of this one. Tough to say which way the judges will be leaning, but Sabato does seem to be confident. Oh, and a great combination by Sabato there. That cross looked like it stunned Rusconi a little bit. Adrian advancing at will. Oh, and those are some punishing shots. The hooks of Adrian Sabato really landing hard at the beginning of this round. Rusconi tried to stay out of the corner. Adrian with some uh, blood coming out of that nose, but he's just walking forward like nothing's phasing him. Really pushing this face. Rusconi trying to push back, but Adrian Sabado, just relentless in his forward pressure. Rusconi's corner thinks Sabado might be a little bit tired, but Sabado's still pushing the pace here. Just constantly with the punches, he seems to be tracking Rusconi's head really well no matter how much he moves it. And the hooks and the uppercuts just keep coming. He is throwing these hard. Last 10 seconds, Sabato charging at his opponent. Still going for the finish as this fight draws to an end. And that'll be time. Three r hard rounds from both of these fighters. Great action from both corners. In stark contrast to the first fight that ended within a minute of it beginning. We got a barn burner for the 
second one of the night. Round four coming your way. I misspoke before, it was not three rounds. Oh, pardon me, it was three rounds. I had it right the first time. It was the uh, ring girl that was incorrect. Ring girl that was incorrect. The judges have deliberated. As this was hard fought on both sides. Looks like it took him a second to process that one, but ultimately...